What's up everybody? A quick tutorial on how to do pitch shifted delays in Ableton Live. So I have this um, Serum patch made up here. It's um, pretty simple. It's two square waves, both detuned. A uh, bit of sub oscillator. There's a envelope on the amplifier and another envelope on the filter here, which is enabled. Both oscillators go through the filter. And I have a um, LFO set at 6 hertz that's modulating the fine tune pitch of oscillator A for a bit of vibrato. So, sounds like this. <laughs> want to turn it into this all right let's get started so we go back to um, to this channel so we only have serum here I mean it doesn't matter if it's serum or any other plugin or sampler uh, just a instrument can be a preset whatever um, the idea is that you um, drop this inside of an instrument rack, which you can do by uh, pressing Ctrl G on the Windows machine or Command G on a Mac. So now that it, now that it is inside of a instrument rack, click on the Chains button here, and we see that we have a single chain with Serum on it. Now the idea is to duplicate this. You can do that by uh, pressing Ctrl D on a Windows machine or Command D on a Mac, and duplicate it two times. Now, on the first chain, we're not going to do anything. But on the second chain, we're going to use a MIDI effect called Pitch. Drag it in front of Serum. Um, in the example I did here, I had uh, the pitch set here to minus 7. And then also drag the same effect to chain 3. And there, set it to plus 5. Now, the next thing you need to do is take uh, a delay or an echo or whatever. Um, so I'm dragging an echo to chain 3 and make sure that your dry wet is set to 100% wet. Maybe uh, play around a bit with the uh, other parameters, maybe a bit more reverb, a bit more feedback. And I'm also going to do this to chain 2. So dry wet to 100%. But on this one, I'm setting the uh, left and right inverted from the other chain. So this will be at 5, and this will be at 3. And then I'm going to set both of them to ping pong. So you get a nice bouncing back and forth between these two channels. And I'm also setting the volumes of these chains uh, a bit lower. And then it sounds like this. <laughs> So the incoming MIDI will be transposed by these devices here. Um, so basically you have three chains of Serum playing at the same time, but they're all being played at a different pitch. Um, and since you set the echo devices to 100% wet, it means that you only hear the effect on these um, pitch shifted notes coming from Serum. So that is kind of a cool eth effect, I think. Alright, that's it for today. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.